on the actual site where the Confederate submarine H.L. Hunley began its journey into history on February the 17th, 1864. And the Hunley, with just a little bit of the moon, was able to sail out here and to rendezvous with the USS Usatani and would change for all time the way war would be fought on the water. On board the Housatonic, they were startled. They looked out into the water and saw something that looked like a giant porpoise. Others said it was dinosaur eyes. The strange vessel moved at an increasing speed toward the Housatonic. On the decks, they pulled their guns, fired into the water, but it was too late. Hunley hit the Housatonic, backed up, slid into the darkness, and it was hoped this miraculous new weapon would lift the Federal blockade. But the story would not end that way. Instead, the Hunley, when she disappeared in the darkness, the history books tell us that she signaled with the blue light back here. The shore battery here saw the blue light flashing, flash back out in the Atlantic Ocean. The Hunley was never heard from again. And on August the 8th, 2000, raised the Hunley out of the water to a cheering crowd worldwide who were watching on TVs. There was a flotilla of boats out here on the ocean, and it sailed into Charleston's harbor. The result of our analysis there indicates that the crew members were sitting there right in their duty stations like they went to sleep that night out there on the ocean. That's an unfolding story that we still have to look at every bit of evidence and try to figure out what occurred in those final three minutes. Did they see the blue light from here? Did it come from that submarine out there? Or did something else occur? Well, as we were bringing her in, we knew about the legend of the gold coin. Lieutenant George Dixon, who was in command of the vessel that night, on April the 6th, 1862, at the Battle of Shiloh, he had the gold coin in his left pocket that his girlfriend, Queen Bennett, had given him for good luck. He was shot here in the left side. It deflected the shot and saved his life. A historical fable had become a historical fact. The gold coin was real, and when we flipped the coin over and washed it off, it said, April 6, 1862. The Hunley sank more than once. She sank on August the 29th, 1863, with a new military crew that had been put on board. They were whisked off to a quick funeral and put in the cemetery. Then on October the 15th, 1863, it took Horace Hunley, the chief financier, for whom the sub is named, down with other crewmen. There were eight of them went down that day. So one of our missions was to bring all three crews back into port and to have them rest together on South Carolina soil. And some people said, why didn't you all leave them out there? Because the history of this vessel always was go get it, bring it back, give the crew a burial, and restore it for duty.